Welcome back to another Quick Tips. We're going to jump in today and we're going to talk about how to move measures between two different data models using DAX Core Review. So we'll jump in with our quick video right now. Let me share my screen and we'll get off to the races here. All right, as I get my screen share up here, you'll see that we have a Power BI desktop model. Over here on the right side of the model, I have loaded some data table elements here. I'll zoom in here real quick so you can see what we're looking at. This is my existing data model. I have some columns here that are summations, but I'm going to move measures from another model that defines the calculations that I want. So this model doesn't have any measures, but I have already the measures in some other location. So I'll go over here to my Power BI desktop. I have a second model open. You'll notice this model looks similar. However, in this model, this new model, I have all these measures in a folder. Also, the measures down below, or the columns, are the ones that I don't want to have summarizations. I've already turned some uh, default summarization off. So we're going to show you how to move these measures from this model to the other model with DAX Core Review. So going into my model that does have the measures, I'll navigate over here to the DAX Query View on the left-hand side of the screen, and this is a setting you will need to turn on in your Power BI Desktop settings. Once you navigate to this area, you'll be able to see your data table. In there, I have my measures inside my folder. You'll also notice here I've already moved some columns around into my folder, and I've hidden them. We're not going to do that with DAX Query View. We're going to use um, the model view to fix that in our old model. But now what I can do is I can right-click on this table, go to Qu Quick Queries, which is hard to say, and then I can define all measures in this table. So this is the option that we're going to use here. And when I define all the measures in this table, you'll see that immediately it builds out a DAX query view. It uses the define function at the top here and creates all the measures down below. Suffice it to say, you can uh, go into a little bit more detail here, but the initial table name here is financial data initial loading. And then the name of the measure is represented here. And then the equivalent formula is represented at the end of this. So if I want to move these measures to my other model, a couple things I'm assuming is the column names are exactly the same. So if I'm doing a sum on a cost of goods or a discounts column, I'm assuming the other model has the information in it as well. You can also adjust these if needed. So I'll just do a quick Copy here, control C. I'll minimize this. I'll go over to my model that does not have these measures. I'll enter into DAX query view. I'll start a new blank query by clicking the little option down here at the bottom. So I clicked on the little plus sign down below here, which allows me to create a new tab in DAX query view. And then I can paste those queries right in here. All my measures are previous are defined here. I'll zoom that in so you can see larger. These are all my measures. And you'll notice here it's asking me, there's a little action prompt. Notice here there's an action prompt at the top here that says update the model and add new measure. So what it has done is it's identified that I'm going to add the name of the measure called sum of cost of goods. I'm going to put it in the table called financial data initial load, and the formula will be here. Now with one button press, I can then press update my model. It'll ask me, do you really want to do this? You can't undo your edits. Sure, no problem. I'll hit update, and you'll notice right away all my measures are now made inside my model. And there's no issues, there's no errors, because the column names I had previously are also matching in this as well. If you wanted to, or wanted to modify the column names, or had different table names, you could also go through here and you could edit your measures. Another tip or trick here with working in Power BI Desktop that I absolutely love is if you grab the entire name of the table where you were going to input measures. Let's imagine you have a different na named table in a different location, something along those lines where you had to mass edit things. You can use a shortcut on your keyboard, control L, sorry, control shift L, control shift L, which will select all the locations or all the instance of those. And additionally, it'll give you a multiple cursor, which is incredibly powerful here trying to snag it here so you can see the, the image. Those are multiple cursors. Those cursors are aligning on every single column. So then I could just simply delete those and I could type new table name. And this would then pull all the, uh, the different measures or names of items in there as well. This is all angry at me because I just made up the name of the table. All right, I'm gonna escape out of this. I'm gonna undo my changes there and put everything back to the way it was. Now let's clean up our model a little bit by going back to the model view. Another aspect of the model view that I absolutely love is how easy it is to clean up your model with bulk actions, bulk changes all at once. 
So in my model here on the right hand side, I have a lot of measures. I want to put all of my measures in a single folder called base for my base measures. So now it's as easy as grabbing all the different uh, measures by clicking control on my keyboard and clicking on every single measure that I want. Those are all the measures I would I desire. And then I can easily add them to a folder by going to the display folder and typing in the word of the display folder. So I'll go in here and type base. And now you'll notice all my measures immediately move directly into the same table. It looks like I accidentally grabbed the date column as well. So I probably should move that out. If I want to move that out, I'll just get rid of the base option and it will move the date calendar back out there. The other option that I recommend people do is to summarize these columns. So in these measures that I'm using here, I don't want you to use the default summarization of the other measures. So I can select all of the columns in the table and then I can go into the advanced area under the summarize by option down here. Instead of summarize by multiple values, I can click that and say none and it will then remove all the default summarizations on all the columns. And then to be a little bit cleaner as well, I wanna go through and pick up all the columns that have numerical values, hide them, and potentially move them into my folder as well to keep it a bit cleaner as well. So I know I'm using cost of goods, discount brand, or discounts, gross sales, manufacturing price, profit, sales price, sales, and units sold. These are all my numerical columns that my measures are pulling from. Again. I can just click on the base, the display folder here as well, type in my word base, and all those columns will then move into that folder. And then keeping all the columns selected, I can turn them hidden by turning them off, and that will force my users to then look at the model and then automatically use those measures as opposed to using the actual columns of information. So now when I go back to my report view, we notice we have our model all cleaned up, all the default summarization has been turned off, I have all my dimensional columns listed down below and all of my measures or calculations that I want users to use will now be shown here at the top. That's it for this tip. Tr quick tip today. Um, I hope you like this quick tip and uh, we're able to use this in your models. If you need to move measures between different semantic models, it's as easy as using DAX query view, scripting out all your measures, copying the code over, and then use it in your new model. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip. We'll see you next time.